First of all, I want to say good morning, and I'm so happy that everybody is here. I know the board is happy that you're here, so is our representatives from First Service and our new manager, Doug. Um, for those of you that were here on Monday and saw me do my abbreviated happy dance, there'll be none of that today. So, don't be looking for it, it's not going. Um, there's some people that I think I need to say thank you to. And first of all, I want to say thank you to Denise and her team because they have been Y'all don't realize how much they've been my savior the past few weeks. So to them, I'm eternally grateful. I'm grateful that they made today happen as seamlessly as it has, as they always do. I want to say thank you to Dorothy Lazzarini and Ken Johansson who are bringing you my voice today and have set up the screen so you can see all the amazing things that are coming. I also want to say thank you to Cameron who pitched in at the very last minute to make sure we could get a video tape. I thought it was real important that today we videotape what's happening for our residents that are here that have already gone home for the summer. So at some point in the near future, you're going to see that broadcast, that email broadcast that says it's up and you can look at it again. You are always free to ask questions. Any board member, our, our new Doug, will be able to help you with whatever you're going to need. Um, I want to say thank you to all the residents, all our neighbors, all our friends. You've all been so patient and encouraging with our employees and our board during this time, and that has made all of this so much easier, and I just really want you to know how much I appreciate that, how much our board appreciates it. Um, you've been amazing. So, I also want to say thank you to the amazing employees we have. All of our has been amazing this past few weeks as we try and figure out what was left behind and what needed to be done, how it needed to be done, and every single one of them has been so helpful to the board and with our residents that I truly cannot thank them enough for what they've done. It's been so far beyond the call that it's, it's crazy, it's just crazy, y'all. Um, to my husband, Andrew, and all the spouses of the board. Um, I'd like you to stand up, uh, Andrew and Margie and Jean, um, Nancy, Kevin, Barbara. Come on, y'all, stand up. I really want to just talk to you from the heart for a second. All of you have made all of what we've done so much easier. You made us laugh when we needed it. You kept us calm when the stress was really bad. And mostly, you just helped us do what we did. And that is just, I can't tell you how important that was. So for me, I think from all the board members, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I love you, Andrew Abel. <laughs> I, I want to say a, a very special thank you to um, Marcy Minchella. She was the rock and the love behind Ron, and she made him, I think, the best president. And so for her, from my heart, I just say thank you for everything.
Um, all of you have been so amazing, and we've really come together as a team, and I think that that doesn't happen very often, and I am so, so thrilled that I can serve with you on this board, and I'm thrilled that I can call you my friend. So thank you for everything you've done for the residents, for the employees, and mostly for me. So thank you. So I alluded to my happy dance earlier, because I've been really excited, and um, been trying to kind of keep that in control, but I'm so excited. Um, Monday, I know a lot of you met Doug, our new community manager, and so along with Doug comes what we call our back office, and that's for service residential. They are the largest management company in the nation, and we are thrilled that they have decided to help us. They're going to do their little presentation, or I guess big presentation. Medium? Medium. So you'll get a better feel for why we think they're what we need. Um, I don't know how many know other than the spouses, but there were just an unbelievable number of hours spent on weekends and nights and sometimes full days interviewing companies and candidates and doing the research that helped us come to where we are. We were looking for someone, we wanted somebody with all the qualifications, obviously, but we also wanted someone that was going to come in and was going to be that long-term person for us, that was going to know you and become part of our family, that would be kind of like Denise, to be honest, who knew you, knew your but was giving us as a community the things we need to move forward and be the best we can be. We did not take that lightly. We took that very seriously. There was a lot of conversation about who to choose. But ultimately, we decided that our best course was to hire Doug Austin and First Service to come in. I think if you've met Doug and you've talked to him, you might think that we made the right choice, and I hope you do. We think he's going to be our guy going forward for a long time. We know as a board that there are a lot of reasons to partner up with a management company, and some of the ones that we really looked at and researched and talked about were, what can they offer our residents and our owners? What can they bring to our staff? Could they bring benefits and growth and education? Could they bring the leadership and the management to a place where we are just managing? We're not down in the trenches every day putting out fires like we are now. We want to be able to look at opportunities that are going to save us money. And when we do that, that translates to, hopefully, no dues raises. But we know there will be some, but we're looking at ways to keep those raises to a minimum. One of the things that was absolutely vital with us as a board was that we retained complete control of the community. All of our monies, all of our budget, all, of, all our assets, we ultimately made the decision of where our manager was going to go. We're pretty positive we found that with First Service. So everybody knows Doug was here Monday. He was introducing himself. Um, as we go forward, the board is going to spend a lot of time with him, getting him up to speed, letting him know what's our really good stuff we really love and the stuff that we really need to take care of and improve. Um, he's going to assist us going forward, making some immediate decisions that we need to make regarding vendors, plans for the rest of the fiscal year, plans for beyond this year, and just giving us the guidance that we think we need to make this the best village in the West Valley. Um, our most important decision, we think, is going to be keeping everybody informed, letting them know how the transition is moving along, and letting you know where we're, what we're doing, which is kind of what we do now, but we're going to keep those lines of communication 
education open, probably get more e-blasts than you want. But we feel like if we're letting you know what we're doing, you're not going to have as many questions as you would and maybe not see a situation where there isn't one. Our target date is June 1. On June 1, we'll transition to first service, so we're very excited about that. I also want to let you know that Bill Horton and the condominium board is also talking to first service um, about being their management, and we are eagerly waiting that decision. So as soon as they know, I'm sure Bill and his group will let you know. We know there's going to be some changes in the village, and we believe most of them will be good for you, for our employees, for everybody, for all of the people here in the village. Um, I just want to tell you all a little something that uh, Andrew and I say. When there's something new and uncertain in our future, we always call it an, an adventure. And this is an adventure. It's not good. It's not bad yet. It's just something new, and it can be something really exciting. So we, all of us, all of the work, all of first service, we want you to go on that adventure with us. Be open to what's going to happen and really, really flow with it and really be open to seeing what's going to happen. Um, I also want to tell you that uh, while you may not have seen Ron around the office as much as you've seen the rest of us, he has been working with us in the background, and he has asked me to tell you today that as of tomorrow, he is going to step back as your president. Yay! <laughs> I get to step back as vice president, but I am thrilled. I, I know that there are going to be times when we're all going to pull together, but I'm excited, and I'm, I'm excited to start this adventure with all of you. And so, to get us started, I'm going to introduce John Kemper. He's president of the Arizona Region for First Service, and he's going to kick this all off for you. Thank you, everybody. Good morning. development. 
that, so she has an entire team of, of, of folks that are going to help um, get all the associates onboarded and help them um, with training, with development, um, you know, help them in their careers, um, and that kind of thing. Uh, recruiter as well, so, um, so Lori is here, uh, was been here the last two or three days, um, getting all of that stuff uh, done behind the scenes as we look forward to a June 1st start. And then we have Erica Searing, who's our um, controller. She's the numbers person. So she takes care of all the, the financials and stuff for us. Uh, and we have uh, Karen Hale. Karen Hale has, um, uh, is in charge of our resale and disclosure, uh, accounts receivable, all kind of the, the back office uh, type, of, uh, type of stuff. So she has an entire team that is uh, responsible for, uh, for those Duties. Then we have David Aspiris. So David um, is in charge essentially of onboarding all of your homes, all of your, your addresses, your data. So he gets everything in the system uh, to our proprietary uh, software, uh, make sure that uh, we have the proper addresses and emails and all that type of stuff. So David is busy working behind the scenes, um, importing um, all that data into, um, into our system. And then we have uh, Paul Schwartz. So Paul is our uh, Director of Business Development. Uh, Paul has spent the better half of the last probably two, two and a half years uh, working with uh, your board, having conversations, inviting them to events, educating them on um, a lot of different topics. Um, they've leaned on him a lot, and that's what we're here for. So, um, so behind the scenes, Paul has uh, put forth a, a large effort in terms of education to um, to the board and, and our services and things like that. And then obviously you guys met uh, met Doug. Um, so Doug, Doug is uh, yeah. so Doug will uh, so Doug will be back. Uh, Doug, I don't think you've ever had this much attention. This is great. <laughs> this is fantastic. Man, man. What? Wow. Yeah, very blessed to, to, to be here, and we're all blessed to have such a, a great team. But um, again, behind the team that is here on site is there are, are a lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of people in our in our Scottsdale office that help support Doug and his team. There's a lot of people um, in our Irvine office in California that help support us, and there's a lot of folks in our Dania Beach office that help support them who help support us. Right. So there's a lot of um, a lot of support. Um, for the uh, for the community, a lot of things that get done behind the scenes, and these are um, some of those leaders that are in charge of those uh, those teams. So uh, very excited, very very excited to to be here today, and, and thanks again for coming out. Anybody else uh, as excited as we are to be uh, talking about first service or engaging in what we're about? Okay, appreciate that. Um, let's get a little real. Anybody nervous and anxious? Right? It's okay. It's okay. That, you know what? Um, not our first time at the rodeo, and you know we're used to that. We get it. You'll see some of the information that I'll share here that um, we've done this before. Uh, I got a little quick blurb up here. I think in the last two years we've done about 240 of these transitions. And so we understand that. So just know, um, whether it's me today, our team, we're going to be here to talk to you afterwards and answer any questions that you have. Doug going forward to support teams in Peoria and Scottsdale, we get it. We understand it. And so we are here to hold your hand through the process, walk beside you through the process, carry you through the process, um, and just please know that, you know, 99.9% .9 of what you're used to around here, your world is not going to change. We understand, you know, as residents, as board members, as staff, associates, team members, it can be a little bit anxious, it can be nervous. So we've been there, done that, just understand that we are with you through that process, okay? Um, certainly want to do some thank yous. So first and foremost uh, to the board at Sun Village, uh, as Judy mentioned, uh, a tremendous amount of heavy lifting that goes on behind the scenes. Numerous meetings with us, numerous meetings with other companies and candidates for the position. So uh, a big, big thank you. So our first service team would like to give you a big round of applause. Thank you so much for that. Thank you all residents, um, you know, the board really making this happen for us today and going forward. Thank you all for being here today. Um, you know, uh, understand that lovely pool, the golf course, the surrounding area, probably a lot of other things that you could be doing today. 
so we do appreciate your time. But I really want to kind of say the most important thank you um, for those that are in the room that truly, truly made this entire day happen for all of us, and that's our veterans. So if you are a um, veteran or a family member of a veteran, would you please stand and receive a big round of applause from us? Any veterans in the room?
this is actually, so my grandfather, uh, who uh, was called the glory in his own right a few years ago, um, he actually, and I get this from him, he actually carried this picture in his wallet, and he would, any opportunity at the grocery store, at the checkout girl, you know, make a conversation, oh, can I show you a picture of my pride and joy? Right? You know, so, so I do have uh, a lot of my grandfather in me, so I thought maybe I'd get a kick out of that. So a little bit about us, a little bit about First Service. Uh, as John mentioned, uh, we have been in Arizona for 50 years. This is uh, over 50. We just celebrated our 50-year anniversary. So um, we're really, really proud of the roots that we have in the community. We uh, manage about uh, 250 associations, about 100,000 homes here in Arizona. We uh, manage a lot of large-scale amenity-driven communities like Sun Village. And, and the reason I put this up here, over 20 of them here in Arizona, uh, we do our part of our western region, which is Arizona, Nevada, and California, so 90-plus communities like Sun Village in these three states, and then nationally, over 700 communities like Sun Village. So why do I talk about this? Is because our expertise and the resources we have. So here in Arizona, you know most of what you all deal with, we've dealt with before. Like I said, right, not our first time at the rodeo. However, there might be something that we've never dealt with before. Well, Doug and his team and Jennifer and any of us can pick up the phone, send an email with the right email address, and call on any one of these individuals in any of these communities and ask them, hey, here's something we're dealing with at Sun Village. How have you dealt with it? So a lot of resources that we have at our disposal. Um, we are a uh, publicly traded company. That's very, very important for many reasons, but, but mostly important is the compliance and the standards that we have to meet, especially when it comes to managing your money. We're not privately owned by some guy sitting in an ivory tower somewhere in Texas. We are publicly traded. So um, any of you accountants or CPAs in the room, we actually are, uh, have to be what's called Sarbanes-Oxley compliant, which is a whole stringent set of standards that we have to meet on a regular basis to make sure that we're doing the right thing for you all. And also, Judy mentioned this, the economies of scale that we can bring to Sun Village, the purchasing power that we have um, in all those associations we manage, and those dollars, six billion dollars that we manage on behalf of the associations we work with. So like on the banking side of things, preferred banking rates, preferred investment rates on the accounts that Sun Village has. Uh, we, we run kind of like a prospectus when we're talking to the board and the tens of thousands of dollars that we can bring to the table because the banks want to work with a company that managed six billion dollars worth of revenue. So um, a lot of strength that we bring to Sun Village. We have been ranked um, 11 years, although not official. I see our, our, some of our marketing folks back there. Uh, I'm probably safe to say that we did receive word it will be in print shortly. We just got our 12th year in a row, so we're really proud of that. Uh, but probably the most important, and I know we have a lot of team members sitting in the back of the room, the most important thing that we're passionate about, we talk a lot about uh, the assets of First Service. And we say every day, 90% of our assets drive home at the end of the day. The talent, our staff, our employees, and so we're really, really proud of the fact that for the past five, going on six years now, we've been voted best places to work in the Valley. So we are really, really proud of that. You know, the numbers are great. You know, everything that we do behind the scenes, but none of that happens um, without the talent and the team and the associates. You won't hear us call our associates employees. You will hear us referring to them as team members. So we're very, very proud about that. So we live by a mission at First Service Residential, and our mission is to deliver exceptional, exceptional service and solutions that enhance value of every property and the lifestyle of every resident in the communities we manage. Uh, this is almost, this reminds me of uh, back in my football days, like when you're like the freshman or you see kind of some of these, you know, NFL guys, like they're rookies, right? And you have to stand up during lunch as a rookie and you have to, you know, like sing the team song or something like that. Uh, that's how we are with our mission. Uh, we are really, really passionate about what we do and all of our associates live and breathe. These are our marching orders. And more importantly than that, we kind of drill down from there. We actually have core values. One of the things that I'm really passionate, one of the reasons I'm really passionate about First Service is that 
my own personal core values align with the company I work for. And that's a, like a really cool feeling, right? I mean, I have worked for companies that like it was just a job, right? I was collecting a paycheck and I didn't feel connected. Um, but here at First Service, 12 years in this industry, only with First Service, it's great to see that our core values are aligned with what I do and, and I would propose on behalf of our entire team, who we are as people. Might be a little bit difficult to see the small print, but I'll hit the high stuff. So one of our core values is be genuinely helpful. We take pride in serving each one of our communities, and uh, you know what? Genuinely helpful is what defines us. Next core value that we live by is we aim high. We're passionate about being the best at what we do. We attract, train, and retain great people. We set the standard for professionalism in our industry. Do what's right. You think that that's, you know, uh, duh, right? But really, we define it. Our clients, you all, trust us to do what's best for your community, and we are guided by our ethics and your interests in everything that we do. Everything that we do. Own it. You know what? No one's perfect. I'm not, surprisingly, as my team over there chuckles. They know that pretty well. Um, but here's what happens, right? Um, if and when, not if, but when, we make a mistake, we're accountable. We're going to own it. We're not going to pass the buck. We're not going to say, oh, it was the board. We're not going to say, oh, it was that homeowner. It's not going to say, that was my coworker. Each one of us at First Service, we're accountable. When we face a challenge, we see it through with perseverance, integrity, and open communication. We improve it, right? It's one thing to like do things and we do it well, but you know what? Like, you know, eventually you're going to like maybe tread water, right? What about what's next? What about improvement? What about evolving? which those of you who have been here for 20 years plus at Sun Village, you have seen your community evolve. And so we learn from our experiences. We're open-minded, we collaborate, we continue to look for ways to improve. And then finally, this is really what it's all about. We're in the relationship business. And so our final core value is that we build great relationships based on respect, trust, and communication. It's the cornerstone of our success. You know, and that's, um, like I said, like core values for life, right? and especially building the relationships part, because um, at the end of the day, if we are able to gain your respect, earn your trust, and effectively communicate with you, then if and when there's something that comes up that might need, you know, it's a challenge or it's an opportunity uh, to learn, I kind of talk about, you know, it's more of just, there's a speed bump in the road, you know, that we're gonna roll over the speed bump because we have this relationship and we're gonna keep moving forward. It's not a big pothole that we're gonna hit and all four wheels of the car are gonna fall off. We've built a relationship where we can walk through and that you all can trust us to own it and do the right thing. We then deliver a brand promise. You know, we will, what we will do for Sun Village. And so you can expect impact at Sun Village from first service in the following areas. And I know um, in meeting with the board several times, uh, a lot of these things were really, really important to them. So um, you will expect from us impact in ensuring safety and mitigating risk. Now that's a big umbrella, right? I mean, there's the safety piece that I know the on-site team deals with all the time, right? Walking down and there's a little bump in the sidewalk, or right? there's that safety and eliminating that risk, okay? But one of the interesting dynamics and great, great benefits that I know the board is passionate about bringing to the table when you have been self-managed as a self-managed association, the association takes on a tremendous amount of risk. Each one of you are members of that association by living at Sun Village. So risk from um, legal mistakes that might happen, maybe it's actions by the board, right? Or the uh, risk of employing all of those team members. There's a lot of risk in the human resources world. When first service comes in, we take that off of the board. We take that off of the association. We own that. So now we manage through the ensuring safety and mitigating that risk for the association. Optimizing operating budget, we touched on it, right? Um, better return on investment, our economies of scale, Doug's expertise in the industry and working with vendors, renegotiating contracts, monies that we can bring to the table, uh, keeping at a minimum at every time we can, you know, not having to raise your assessments, 
and partnering with the board. Judy mentioned this, it's very, very important. It's your association. Your board is in control. We do what the board says. We are here to partner with the association to help the board in their duties. So optimizing the operating budget is a big thing. Improving resident lifestyle. One of the things that's uh, really neat out here is I know the robust activities piece that you all have. So I mentioned those 20 plus associations here in Phoenix, in the Phoenix area and then regionally. Each one of those associations has a Denise, right? Each one of them has a Denise. So right here in Arizona, she is now tapped into our first service network, um, our lifestyle services group, we call it, that they get together on a regular basis and they exchange ideas. Um, Denise, you and I can talk about this. You ever heard of a mystery lunch? Right? Do you do it here yet? We have done mystery dinners before. Okay, mystery dinners. So kind of the same concept. So like an idea like a mystery lunch where, you know, she gets a rental little van and 15, 20 people sign up. You pay your $20. You don't know where you're going until you show up. You get in the van and your $20 got us to the Phoenix Art Museum for the day for lunch. Right? Ooh. Right? That's cool. So things like that. The exchange of ideas amongst that group to help improve your resident lifestyle. But there's more than just the activities that's your lifestyle. Right? There's the financial piece. Right? Um, so you can expect from us impact in improving your resident lifestyle. Enhancing property values, right? Who does not want to see the values of their home and your investment uh, go up, right? I know um, until, and probably never, I don't think I will be um, purchasing the $250,000 Ferrari that I've always wanted. <laughs> so the $250,000 uh, investment uh, that I make in a home is the largest investment I'll ever make. It would be awesome uh, that I had an association and a group working around me that's going to help improve and put impact on enhancing the property values, so you can expect that from us. Parents on Village, and at the end of the day, it's all about delivering that exceptional service that you'll hear us talk about. So now, what does this mean for me? Like right now, right today, or the next 30, 60, 90 days? I'm going to touch on the three T's that I call them. And there's a lot more than just this, but in speaking with Judy and speaking with your board, we felt that these were the top three things to talk about. A little bit about transition, a little bit about the team that are here today, and then uh, a little bit about transparency. So let's start. This actually began the official, if you will, flipping of the switch started on, on May 1st. We've been meeting with your board for quite a while, but the whole kind of behind the scenes uh, with David and his transition team started on May 1st. We're already doing a lot of that stuff behind the scenes. So we had a dedicated transition team. That's all they do is focus on Sun Village and uh, transitioning. Um, and that's a partnership between your board and our account integration department. We will be, uh, as Judy mentioned, not only do you have great communication avenues here at Sun Village already, we will bring into the table what I like to call over communicating. I would rather have the homeowners and residents in the communities we manage, you know, say, all right, we get it. You know, we've heard like for 30 times now in the past couple of months what you guys are doing. Uh, you know, you can, you can, it's good, we got it. As opposed to, all right, I wonder what's going on. You know, what's happening with this, what's happening with that. So we will over communicate. You will be receiving a welcome letter. David, I just put you on the spot. Is it two weeks? About? Yeah, about okay. In about two weeks, you'll receive an official, official welcome letter for us, from us with some great information. It'll have your first service account number on there, it'll have uh, your payment options, and then a lot of FAQs. So stay tuned for that, and that won't be the only time you'll receive that information. Again, we'll be over communicating that, so stay tuned for that. Um, our team, David, and the account integration, and, and um, you know our AR department, we already have a plan in place to be on site for you. So you can always pick up the phone, you can always send an email, um, use the right email address. Um, but you know what, we're going to have a team on site for you to come here to the clubhouse. We're going to have computers, and if there's any questions you have about what we're doing in terms of transition, we will be here in person to hold your hand through that process. So stay tuned for that. Um, and, and things like this. If we find in the ensuing weeks that maybe there's like a hot topic, like a hot button that 
there's you know majority of who you have questions about, or you know this has been kind of a sticky wicket over the past couple weeks. We're more than happy to do this. We're more than happy to do this again and say, hey, let's get everyone in a room, answer questions, give a little more detailed information. So we are happy to be um, giving those types of presentations. And then I mentioned this earlier. So our client transition team, we have done over, yeah, about 242 of these transitions in the past couple of years. So um, we are more than happy to hold your hand through that process. So a little bit about the team. Uh, we have what's called our 360 degrees of support. You see one layer of the team here. This might be a little difficult to see, some of the small print, but the colors are a little more important. So this is our 360 degrees of support. Sun Village is in the middle, the center of the universe, right? Yes, of course. We <laughs> yes, we are. So Sun Village. Then we have our Arizona team support, which are most of the folks that you met here. Then as we go out in our 360 degrees, uh, we have our corporate support. So these are folks in our Scottsdale and Peoria offices, our accounting and finance, HR and training, technology piece, and then the regional support. So you know we go even to the region where Lori, who's our right here, our director of human resources, she has the support of Amy Matheson, who's our regional vice president of, of HR. We've got specialized services over here, so somewhere down the road, you know, corporate engineer when it comes to reserve study time. Uh, you may or may not be familiar with what reserves are, but we've got a corporate engineer that can come on site. That's what he does. He's actually a reserve study specialist. He can partner with the association and your current reserve study um, person who's putting your reserves together, tour the community, and help support that endeavor. And then, you know, all of these folks. So this is our 360 degrees of support, which leads into the teams that you've met today. So our transitioning team, our HR department, operations, accounting. This is one that's really big, especially when we come to be in, um, I'm sorry, where's it at? Boom, segregation of duties. This is really important. One of the many great things we bring to the table is because we are a publicly traded company and there's these stringent standards, and money is very important, right? Um, is that the same person who is paying your vendors is not the same person that's reconciling the bank account, right? The same person who is putting together the financials is not the same person um, depositing and withdrawing funds from your bank accounts. So there is a clear delineated line of demarcation between each one of those duties that's very, very important. And, oh, by the way, with our layers of support, you met Erica, she was up on stage, so you have an association accountant, that's all they do. They do Sun Village's financials reports and distribute them. But before they go to the board for review, they go to a lead accountant, a team lead who reviews it. Then from the team lead, it goes to Erica. <laughs> and Erica, so there's three layers of review of your financials before your board even sees it for the first time. So we're really, really passionate about going back to, what is it, do what's right in our core values. And we feel really important, uh, that that's very, very important when it comes to the accounting. We have what's called pre-legal services that you'll hear about in the coming weeks and months. Um, project management, I mentioned that. And then um, some of our investments in the economies of scale that we bring to the table, the preferred banking insurance programs that are exclusive to us. And then technology, eh, you know, who needs it? You can have my phone if you want it. Um, you're more than welcome. And so we do have, and you'll see, you'll hear about this in the coming months, this First Service Connect portal that we have. I'll talk about that a little bit more here in a minute. Um, so, oh, I'm sorry. Woo! I almost went right by the most important person in the room. Doug, come on up real quick, please. Thank you. All right, Doug. I know a lot of you were out here on Monday to meet Doug, but I just want to give Doug an opportunity, perhaps for those of you who work here, to, um, to hear his ever so eloquent voice. Hi, Doug. You know, we ran out of coffee earlier, and I think I know where a gallon of it went. Is he on fire or what? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, glad to be here. Um, what a great crowd. Uh, when I walked in here Monday, I thought I was going to meet um, 20 or 30 people and say hi. And I walked in, and the room was almost as full as it is today. And I went, well, oh, this is going to be really, really good or really, really bad. <laughs> and guess what? You guys have met me with open arms, and I really appreciate that. 
for those that weren't here on Monday, uh, I've been in the business for 15 years, all the first service residential. I have managed large-scale master plan communities uh, uh, such as Sun Village, and uh, I'm really, really happy to be here. When I interviewed with the board and uh, uh, several times, they, uh, they asked me one question, and uh, right at the end they said, why do you want to come here? Pretty simple. Why do you want to come here? Why would you come here? And I said, you know what? Because my company and I, we can make a difference here. And I believe that. I believed it from the first time I went through the gate and uh, waved at Dorothy, wherever she is, if she's here today. And uh, I think we can make a difference here. We've met, we have a great board. And there's the team members back there. They're all, uh, we've got rest of them. this community. Um, I tell you, you guys have just been fantastic. I've met a lot of you. It's nice to see familiar faces on day three. Okay? <laughs> on day three. As you know, you know where my office is, but you may not find me in there as much. You may find me just out by the pool, by the tennis courts, by the pickleball, the golf, because I like to get out. I like to mingle. I like to meet people. And I like to, I'm big on the relationships. I'm big on listening and seeing uh, what you guys want to do. Because guess what? You're all my boss, okay? And it's nice to have, you know, a few thousand people to be your boss, okay? <laughs> and uh, my wife asked me the other day, she goes, so how's your office? I said, I don't know. Been at the conference table for three days. <laughs> she goes, but what about your desk and your chair? I said, I haven't sat in it yet. I said, I'll get to that. But I said, I've been just downloading and downloading and downloading because there's so many things that this board wants to do and so many things this community wants to do. We're just getting the list, we're gonna work at it, we're gonna get it done. So uh, I won't hold anything else up because I you know, but we do have more coffee back here now. We did get out for more coffee. But I'll be here every day, Monday through Friday, and maybe on the weekends when we have some events, because I really want to go to some of those. Denise has so many things going on, I just have to pick and choose. I don't know how I'm gonna get them all. But, uh, and I really want to thank, you know, the board, all the team back there, and especially all of you for the warm welcome that you've given uh, my company and me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. So in closing, folks, I just want to remind you of a few things. We will ensure safety, mitigate risk, we will optimize your operating budget, improve your lifestyle, enhance your property values and deliver exceptional service, we will meet and deliver on our brand promise. We will live up to and exceed our core values. And we will deliver on our mission. We will give you ex exceptional service. We'll provide you solutions. They're going to enhance your property. They're going to enhance your lifestyle of all of you in the community in our partnership with Sun Village. Thank you all very much. We're really happy.